the Isaacers. We are here in the Isaac International Office to show you how the new global information system is going to uh, guide you through the new customer flows. I am Gabi, uh, the VP Information Management of Isaac International. And I'm Michael, Information Systems Manager for AI. And uh, we are here because we are, hope you are aware that in less than a month we are going to have a completely new global information system which you can already start testing and we really hope you already have your account. If you don't have, then just approach your LCP and make sure he or she gives you an account in a very few seconds. So in the next few minutes we would like to show you how the system will guide you through the new customer flows so that you are aware of that how the Opportunities Portal and our new global information system, experience.isec.org or expa, will connect together. So enjoy the next few minutes. So you might be wondering why you can see here OP and expa. Let me explain you that for a bit. So OP is the Opportunities Portal, is the part that all our external customers will be able to see, meaning students for the first time, then the company Opportunities Portal can come later, but for now let's concentrate on students. So students will be able to see only the Opportunities Portal, not the backside of the system, which is experience.isec.org, expa, which is the management side of the system, open for ISECers. So let's see how these two systems connect and how a customer goes through the whole flow and how an ISECer manages that. So first of all, a student goes to the Opportunities Portal and signs up. So this is the first thing that happens. And at this moment, he becomes a lead in Expa in the People CRM. So in the People CRM, the ISECer can immediately see that there is a, a new lead. So this is the part of when it becomes a, a lead. Then the person continues and uh, they complete their, their profile. They complete their profile and once they completed their profile, they are able to browse opportunities in the opportunities portal. They see several op opportunities and the one they like, they click on apply. So this is the, the next step that continues. And then what happened at, at this moment, of course, uh, by this time they already became open and once they clicked on uh, apply, they become in progress. So what happens in the other side of the system? Once the person clicked on apply, they are visible in the application dashboard of the TN manager, which means that they can review the applicant. So they are able to review the applicant, you can already test this feature, so I would really advise you to go to the system and test it because it's a really amazing feature. So they can review the applicant, meaning that they can see all the people who applied for that TN. Uh, they can see the applicant, they can see what other TNs the applicant applied for, and they can make several things. So they can favorite uh, an EP, this will be visible in their application dashboard, the amount of EPs they made favorite. They can reject the person, which will be also visible, and they can match someone. Once they match someone, so they said that I'm matching this applicant, then the EP will get a notification in the Opportunities Portal that about an AM, which they will be able to sign, and once this happens, they become matched. So it's this easy. You can test almost all features of, of this already in the system, apart from the Opportunities Portal, which will be out very soon. And what happens when we are creating an organization and an opportunity? So first of all, uh, there is a, a person who goes to sales meetings and starts conversations starts negotiations with an organization. Once they think that there will be something come out of these negotiations, they create the organization on the system and this will appear on the organization CRM. So once this happened and they go further with the negotiation and this organization wants to create an opportunity, meaning they would like to have one or more EPs, uh, then the TN manager 
creates an opportunity which will appear on one hand in the opportunity CRM, but more importantly, it will also become a part of the opportunity portal so EPs will be able to see and apply for it. So this is it. We hope you liked it. And now Michael will show you how this looks actually in the system. Hello everyone. I'm here to guide you through uh, the new customer flow from both uh, an icicle's eyes and also from an EP or an external facing customer's eyes. So here we've logged into the uh, to experience.icic.org, which is the side where uh, icicles will will manage the, the the operations and the platform. And here I've also logged in as as a test EP on uh, the opportunities portal, which is where most of our external facing customers, such as students, will, will uh, be able to browse opportunities. So now let's go to the home page of the opportunities portal where uh, we can basically uh, view the three programs that uh, that ISEC offers which is Global Citizen or GCTP, Global Talent or GIP and Campus Involvement which is our TMP TLP programs. So here let's click on Global Talent and here we basically uh, what's loading will be you, you know the opportunities that are available for a particular EP. So now uh, let's select one of these opportunities and here what we see is we will be able to browse these opportunities, look at the skills required and etc. And now if we go back to the, uh, the, the icicles view, what we can do is go to people, which is the CRM tool uh, for people and look over here, we can basically find the test EP that I had uh, created and look at, at this test EP, we can see that he's he or she has created their profile on 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 seventh October uh, on on seventh of October, and uh, thereby uh, whenever this EP fills in more details such as skills, languages, and backgrounds, these will be added over here. Heading back to the EP side, uh, so we have this TN, and where EPs will be shown their their matchability for this particular TN options to share this opportunity on social media and things like that. And here you will basically we have the, the organization's logo and the name of the organization. So what this EP can do now is either favorite this TN where uh, he, he can uh, um, access his favorite TNs in the dashboard. And also now we, we have the option to apply now. And here the, the EP has basically now applied for this particular TN. Heading back to the and uh, let's just look at this TN which is welcome to Japan. And then we basically head over to the applications and we see that we, we have the fact that this test uh, EP has uh, applied for this project. We, we, uh, so we have that the EP matches and the skills that the EP does not match and things like that. Now what we can also do is set statuses. Uh, the, the, the EP managers can set statuses uh, such as the fact that the, the EP has paid for the internship, the EP has been interviewed. Uh, TN managers can also set um, you know the the fact that uh, the EP is, is one of his favorite EPs so this should help in, in shortlisting of a large number of applicants you also have shortlist filters over here and uh, you know to, 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 to help you start filtering uh, candidates much faster and here we also have the option to either reject or match the EP so let, let's just say that we've, we're going to match the EP and the start date is the 15th of October 2014 and the end date is 31st of December 2014 and let's match this EP. So now the EP has been matched and uh, heading over to the EP's dashboard we can also see a list of applicants that the, e the, the, the EP has applied for and the fact that this uh, applicant uh, this TN was matched and also here the EP can sign his or her acceptance note. Now scrolling down through the acceptance note this is the place where the EP can sign and finally click on I agree and it loads the fact that the EP has been matched to this particular TN. Now uh, if we go if we go back to the application uh, we, we also see that the EP can now view his timeline which uh, so your, your experience timeline is basically a timeline of, ac uh, of activities that is accessible by the EP, the TN manager and the EP manager. So let's say the, the EP has just booked his flight and then it says happening let's say on 16th of and the flight is also on the same date and the airline is Virgin Atlantic 
and then uh, we enter a few flight numbers from time and then let's say that he's going to meet the, the ISEC representative John Smith at around 11 and then we click submit and you see that this uh, this particular part of the timeline has been generated on the EP side now if you go back here we can also see that this timeline has been added over here And uh, from this, uh, you can see that uh, for Virgin Atlantic is the airways, the flight number, and a picture of the, the person who is going to meet the, e the EP at the airport, and his name, and at what time he's going to meet them. And these things are accessible on both the EP managers, the TN, and the EP side. So everyone is in the loop about uh, what the EP has planned and things like that. The, the next thing that we can do is... Uh, also add the return details of the flight so when the EP is coming back let's see on first January five I virgin flight number okay then things like that and say submit and basically what we have is a beautiful timeline that is created of the EP's en entire journey and this should also be accessible on the EP manager side from this what you can see is that the uh, as that the customer facing opportunities portal and the back end facing experience or isec.org is beautifully synced with each other with uh, with you know uh, by keeping everyone in the, in the loop uh, in uh, of of all the things that are happening on the ep side we also have quality standards where this side will be fillable by the ep manager and this is fillable by the tn manager so things like this as soon as they are clicked over here it uh, it will also be uh, noticeable on the opportunity uh, on, on on the ep's uh, dashboard of the of the opportunities portal so the, the the so basically the ep is always in uh, in sync with what is happening on, on the back end of ISEC where he uh, he is also kept in the loop about his quality standards and things like that and and also various details that are added into his timeline and so this is uh, mainly a, a quick introduction into the customer flow of the GIS